Um, personally, I've had the dream to get into game development. I don't know in what way, what shape, what form, because I'm still learning a lot of things from 3D art to modding. I don't really know what I want to do yet. <laughs> but part of that, I think, is to learn Unity. I've had this on my to-do list for the entire year of 2024, and I was like, 2025 is when I will dive completely into learning Unity. <sighs> well... This video, we are going to open up Unity for the very first time. I haven't watched a single YouTube video. I don't know what's going to come out of this. My only idea right now is I would love to make some sort of app. Everyone has phones um, and I would love to play my game on my phone, which is one of the reasons why I love uh, working on Roblox at the moment. My name is Malik Childish. I am an aspiring coder, game designer, I don't know. Tune in to this episode of me opening up Unity for the first time. Hmm? 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 Subscribe. All right. Uh, okay. Looks like we have to create an account, of course. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're in. We're in. Um, every day creativity starts here. Should we watch this? I'm not watching that. Uh, install editor. Is that not what I? Is that not what I just did? Um, you need an active license to use Unity. I. I think I have an active license. Isn't it free? I thought it was free. Is there tutorials I can download? Um, learning pathways. Two weeks, 12 weeks, 10 weeks. Wow. This is actually really dope. Is it free? Yo, this is dope, y'all. Okay. So then I just do start pathway. Okay. So it really is like, is this like a LinkedIn learning or something where you just play the videos and just follow along with the videos? Oh, this is exciting. This is, this is exciting. This is, <laughs> this has me really excited. Okay. Um, is there anything around apps though in the learning thing? publishing let's just type in ios then right oh wait wait they have a lot of things up here topics 2d all right we might we might be on our own for the app stuff all right i guess i'll be back then because i can't do anything until this installs Ugh. all right looks like install complete i had to go take a break good lord okay what is this oh oh okay so the hub is how you can look through all your projects and stuff and then the engine, this is like booting up like Photoshop or something, right? Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, this template sets up the right project settings for developing a 2D game on mobile. Okay, we're, we're going to keep that up. I'm assuming this is like the property settings when you like click on something. Um, why is the game, like, why is it sideways though? Inkers, okay, we're used to a lot of this stuff from the Roblox Studio. That's why I was kind of, I was kind of really happy that I did start with Roblox Studio because Roblox Studio was a lot easier to like get the flow of things. Um, to know like where to expect settings to be at and all of that. So iPad mini. No, we want iPhone 12. All right. So why is this? <laughs> oh, there's my phone. Um, I wonder if I can adjust my scroll speed. My scroll speed is slow as dirt. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's go team. All right. Um, you know, I think this, this might be a good segue to at least try the first video in the tutorial. <laughs> Because, you know, there's a lot of things in here just open up for the first time. Like, you just don't know what does what. Like, like I just don't know how to use it. This is as far as I was able to get just trying to just hop in here and see if I can finesse some things. I, I don't know what is what. So, yo, shout out James. I'm kind of nervous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this to my other monitor, though. God dang, loading up a project, man. You gotta basically lead a room, lead a house, come back. Okay, we have ground, the lighting, boxes. This feels like a mix between Blender and Roblox Studio. Yeah, I don't know how to work this camera. Oh, and then this is, is this the camera following the player? Player follow camera. Yo, this is really a video game. Inside of that is all the different so this is literally just like Roblox Studio, low-key. So you can move them all at once, or then you can go into each 
smaller box and move it okay okay I, you don't use the arrow keys for anything so this feels weird combination of the arrow keys and right clicking and dragging Ugh. oh i can just double click the object oh that is nice Ooh. platform <laughs> hey hold on Oh, is that the point of the tutorial? This is fire. All right, so we need to make the star closer. Six, and then five. Okay, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna open up the playground scene. Oh, so the different scenes is like the different screens and stuff, okay. So this like this could be another part of your game. Bro, I can imagine how long it takes like a Call of Duty to load and whatever. I don't even know what they make that in. All right, so we have four different playground areas. We have the swing set. You can use WASD to float around. Oh, okay, that feels way better. <laughs> That's literally the very next tutorial. Is holding down the, so this is called flyover mode. Okay, yeah. You'll be ready to start the scene view scavenger hunt. The purpose of the scavenger hunt is to find four hidden numbers that combine to form a four digit secret code. <laughs> Enter any four digit number in the input box to see what happens. Exit play mode. The next step, you'll start looking for the numbers that make up the correct code, okay. Said go to the swing set first. Yo, this the, the tutorials are a dub. No, no way they made the tutorials games. Um, okay, so now frame and zoom to find the second number. Framing an object centers it in scene. Now you're going to learn a new, more convenient way to frame an object by pressing F on the keyboard while in scene mode. F the grill, hit F to frame it. Okay, you will alternate between a more zoomed in and a zoomed out. Okay, use your mouse scroll wheel or two fingers on a trackpad what oh there it is i don't know why when you would use that though oh there it is another zero so we're at two zero zero like is the, is the number one eleven like what is it is it one i'm not sure Oh, 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 it's a four. What is it? Two, zero, zero, four. Uh, uh, there's no such thing as being too comfortable moving around the scene. It's funny, like, that was the very first thing I said I needed help with, and that is what it's showing you the most of, is how to move and navigate a scene. Oh, that is a lot easier to rotate around something holding alt like that instead of what I was just doing where I was doing it with WASD. Ooh, y'all see me on on? Ooh. Ooh, click it, frame it. You know what I mean? All around it. I have move through it. Oh, it said hide the rings in the last tutorial. So let's hide the rings. Let's show the mural. Oh. Here we go. Okay, so we have local or global, where it says global goes off of north, east, south, west, where local goes off of what you're facing. I'm not really seeing a difference, but we go keep it on local. <laughs> so as you can see it by which puzzle piece you select, I don't see it. Oh, I do see it now. Okay, there we go. I'm like, I don't see it. E is rotate shortcut. But it's in order though. Literally Q W E R T Y. Like it's in order of all of these. So that makes it. I could easily look over and be like, okay, that's E. So they said move the next one in isometric view. So we're gonna unclick perspective. Oh, they grab this. Oh, okay. Rotate that. Yeah, we're making the turtle. Moving it with the uh this little thing is nice. Gotta rotate you a little bit. It says get in the habit of saving it save uh put together the tube slide oh rotate this okay hold control is to snap it needs to be rotated it's not perfect but it's 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 about there look at that look at that it's not bad all right i think that's it that is mission one editor essentials the next thing is 3d essentials i'm gonna spend some time on this probably the next month 
um, before I have something I can show again. The main type of game I'm trying to make is a mobile game. So I probably won't care much about the 3D assets and all of those things, but I think it will still be good to learn um, because right now I have Roblox for that. Roblox is my, my 3D um, game creator. So I want this to be a really, really good mobile phone creator. If you guys are familiar with the game BitLife, um, that is the inspiration for the game that I have in mind. So if that says anything right now, <laughs> I got a lot I need to learn. Two, 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 two.